Hey bunnies and bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel. Lorelai here. And today I'm gonna talk about facts regarding male rabbits. Okay, we're gonna go down that rabbit hole today. I know I recently made a video on the differences between male and female rabbits, so I encourage you to check that video out. I'll put it in the iCard above. But this specific video is gonna delve a little bit further into some traits and characteristics that are specific to the male rabbit that you really won't find in females. Before we get into this, please smash that like button, hit the bell, and subscribe for unlimited bunny content. It really helps us out in the YouTube algorithm and helps spread the right information about bunnies. So let's keep getting bunnies on the map, okay? Now let's hop right into this. Starting at number one, males poop more, <laughs> okay? There's no other way to say that. Males do tend to defecate more. Now, male rabbits of any species tend to be a little bit smaller and have blockier heads than the females. So as a result, they process feed differently. A study by Bayero University in Nigeria on a rabbit nutrient conversion found that although male rabbits and females ate roughly the same amounts, the females ended up weighing more while males produced more excrement, okay? I know, who would have thunk? Number two, male rabbits are not very fatherly. Now, this one was really interesting for me to learn about because we're always hearing about the mother and her kids, but we never really hear about the father. I mean, where is the father in this bigger picture? The truth is that most male rabbits will be gentle with their offspring, but what we tend to see happen, at least in the domesticated world, is male rabbits having to be separated from the females almost immediately after they give birth because the mother can get pregnant literally the same day that she has her babies and just within hours of kindling. So repeated pregnancies like that, that are so back to back with the females can be incredibly stressful and not good for their health. So that's not something that you wanna encourage. Now, with regards to wild male rabbits, and I should emphasize that wild rabbits and domestic rabbits are not the same. Wild male rabbits also are not very fatherly, at least not with the human definition of fatherly. The reason being is very similar to that of the mother not being present very much with her offspring, and it's due to predators. And so the mother and the father do not want to draw attention to their babies and encourage predators to come and find them. They don't want to create a fuss, really, and they don't want to make a scene. That's probably a better way to put it. Number three, male rabbits are slow learners. Yep, you heard that right. <laughs> Ever tried to teach your boy a trick, command, or word and found that it was taking a little bit longer for them to learn it? Well, a study conducted by the Medical University of Lodz in 2001 found that there was a sex difference in rabbits that were trained on simple delay classical conditioning. The results showed that males were much slower at attaining the best result, contrary to females, due to a lower brain plasticity in males. Now, this doesn't mean that your male rabbit is dumb by any means. In fact, the males absorbed the information faster than the females, but afterwards, it did slow down a bit. Ultimately, the results were the same, it just took them a little longer. So that just means patience is a virtue with the males. Number four, neutered rabbits live much longer than unneutered rabbits. Unneutered males in the breeding world and in the farming world are known as bucks and they have a 75% chance of developing testicular cancer in their lifetime. But furthermore, male rabbits can get very, very sexually frustrated if they're unneutered. They're gonna live a life that is very stressful if they're not able to release a lot of that frustration. Also, if you think about it, a lot of unneutered males are likely living outside because people who tend to keep bucks 
are, like I said, normally breeders or farmers, you know, people who perhaps view bunnies as livestock. And as we know, living outdoors vastly reduces your rabbit's lifespan. Male rabbits reach sexual maturity at about three to four months, and so that's a really great time to get them neutered. And once they are neutered, just bear in mind that they're gonna still have residual hormones for about three to four weeks. And so it's wise to still keep them separated from any female rabbits in your household in case there is still a chance of pregnancy or maybe fighting and aggression, etc. Number five, wild male rabbits do a little dance to court the girl that they like. Isn't that sweet? Now, the reason I'm talking about wild rabbits is because again, with domestic rabbits, there is also a courtship involved, but the problem is oftentimes, again, it's intervened by humans. And so the majority of the time now when rabbits are breeding, it's due to coercion, basically. It's because breeders are putting these bunnies together and making them mate. Sometimes it's accidental, but for the most part, I would say the courtship process has been a little distorted with domestic rabbits, but with regards to wild rabbits, it's really cute. There's a ton of footage on this, but a male rabbit has to prove himself to the female rabbit that he's crushing on. So he'll do a lot of hops and skips and jumps in the air and kind of do a little twist and you know, a lot of scientists refer to it as a dance. Sometimes he'll tease her a little bit and do a little bit of play boxing and it'll look like they're fighting, but they're really not. When she does finally accept his courtship, then she also leaps in the air. And once they've both leaped in the air, it's an indication that they're basically boyfriend and girlfriend. And by boyfriend and girlfriend, I mean, she's signaling that mating can now take place. It's absolutely adorable okay next male rabbits cannot be kept with other male rabbits unlike the little squabbles between females that you might see male fights can actually lead to serious injury and even death like it's very very dramatic they can like rip each other's eyes out it's very very violent by the way this is more so with unneutered males but even neutered males can get in very very big fights this is why it's so important to get your rabbits neutered it's really going to tone down a lot of that aggression a lot of that fighting especially if you're trying to bond rabbits together it's really the only way to go there is a very very small chance that two males could coexist together and get along, but it's an exceptional case. And usually it's like maybe if they were siblings and raised together from birth onwards, of course they would have to be both neutered, but the dynamic between the male and the female is the best and the most compatible. And I would argue the most romantic. Okay, and finally, unneutered males will spray their urine. Like I said, rabbits are incredibly territorial. So when a rabbit is urinating in certain parts of the house or corners or wherever it may be, it is because they are claiming that space as theirs and they wanna make it known. They don't want any other rabbits to invade that space. If another rabbit does, you best believe there will be serious repercussions. Now, yes, female rabbits can also mark their territory. However, they do it in a different way than the males. Hence the word spraying, because males literally spray the urine and it can be extremely messy. Meanwhile, females, they'll kind of pee and leave like a little puddle, but they'll be very ladylike about it pop their squat and do their thing, right? The males are just like animals about it. I mean, they are animals, but you get the point. But this is going to bring me back to what I said previously, which is why it's so important to neuter your males because that's really going to reduce this behavior. I would argue almost eliminate it completely. Yes, your rabbits will continue to have little accidents here and there throughout their life. It's just rabbit nature, but 
for the most part, getting them neutered is going to stop this. And if you give them a proper litter box with all the right contents inside, so unlimited hay, the right litter, the right sized litter box, they are going to use that litter box very, very diligently. And that is going to be their new territory. So just give them the right litter box and they'll do what they have to do. And I promise that the spraying will stop. And that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below if you have any cool male rabbit facts that I may have missed that I should include in a future video. And also, let me know if you want the same video, but about female rabbits, all right? Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, smash the like button, you guys know the drill, and we'll see you all soon. Mwah.